let's have a look at question 17 in this video so Tom and Karen are trying to limit their son's hairy use of the family car so for that they charge him 20 cents per mile so he has to pay for driving now that price he still uses the car more than the parents would like but they don't want to raise the price so they ask what's the minimum increase in the weekly allowance to accept a fee of 40 cents per mile so that matters um, this guy answers ten dollars per week so we got two questions here we're gonna solve a in this video b in the next video so let's look at part a if Tom and Karen increase the allowance by ten dollars and charge him 40 cents will Harry drive less than before or no okay so let's solve this question on a graph because it seems like a lot of text a lot of information but if we put it on a graph it's gonna make more sense so let's get some space and do it. First of all, we have to understand what we're working with. We're working with an allowance. Let's call the allowance money because that's what it is. It's money, M. We're working with money and we're working with driving. We're working with how much he spends on driving. So we're having these two goods, money and driving. Let's draw the axis and let's treat them as a budget constraint. What's gonna be our intercept? And by the way, this is gonna be all hypothetical. We don't know exactly the numbers, but the intuition is going to be enough for us to answer the question. Now, the intercepts are the maximum amount that he can have. So if he spends nothing on driving, he will have a maximum, a maximum allowance, a maximum number of money. Let's put it over here. And if he spends nothing on the allowance, if he spends everything on driving, he will spend, you know, a certain, a certain millage. Let's call it that. And this is going to be the budget constraint. So this is the initial budget constraint. Now, what is specific about this budget constraint? Well, this happens when the fee is 20 cents per mile. We're working with this, uh, with, with this uh, budget constraint. So 0 0.2 euro per mile. Okay, that's going to be the intercept here. Now, what's happening? It's happening that this guy, Harry, he accepts he accepts $10 in exchange for 40 cents per mile. So for him increasing his money by $10 is the same, is equivalent to raising the fee, to raising the fee to 40, 40 cents per mile. Now, what does that mean? What does equivalence mean? Equivalence means indifference. And what does indifference point to? Indifference curve. Right? He's as happy as getting more money in return for driving less because if driving costs more, he would reduce driving and compensate for more money to spend on other things. So let's try and plot this on our, on our graph. What, what would that look like? Well, first of all, the, the allowance, the money increases. So the intercept would go up. The intercept would be higher by $10. So let's put it here, hypothetically m plus 10 now because driving is more expensive the intercept here has to decrease as well so the intercept over here has to decrease because we afford less driving overall if that would cost 40 cents per mile now okay so let's connect this two this is going to be the new budget constraint this is going to be the new budget constraint let's call it like that now recall this this budget constraint has to touch the indifference curve as before. So if we assume that before he had a specific indifference curve that optimized his utility, and let's call it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it like that for the sake of the example because we would like to prove here something. If that was the indifference curve in the beginning, right? That was the optimal point. That was the optimal point the optimal point from the first budget constraint. This is the optimal point from the first budget constraint. On the second budget constraint, on the red line, we're also having the same utility, meaning that we must touch the same indifference curve. So this point would be also tangent to the new budget constraint. And we would have this optimal point on the new budget constraint. What do we notice? We notice that on the new budget constraint, the driving decreased. It went from this level to this level. Whereas the allowance, the expenses on other goods went up. It went from here onto here. 
So will he drive less? Yes, Harry will drive less because it's becoming more expensive. He will, he will trade off some driving for more money in allowance. That's what this exchange is all about. Hope this makes sense. In the next video, we're going to answer part B.